Hello, welcome to the comics panel. In today's episode, we're going to talk about new school art and old school art. All right. Um, we were just having a, a conversation a little bit earlier with a friend, John, and we were talking about... Uh, Old school art, comic art, and new school comic art. Um, the differences, what we like and what we don't like, just kind of general comparisons. And uh, we kind of came up with our own little thing and probably has a lot to do with our age, but uh, um, we were trying to compare um, the way older stuff compares to newer stuff and, and the different styles and, and what kind of goes into it. Um, can so. I put a disclaimer in here? Sure. I was not in the room when this conversation <laughs> yeah. was going yeah. on, so I'm jumping into this fresh, so this should be fun. Go ahead. All right. Well, um, we know that uh, the industry has changed quite a bit, but personally, I've always loved four-color stuff much better um, than something that has multiple, multiple colors and multiple layers. And there's a lot of things that are really good for that. Um, I think Sandman is something that has benefited uh, things like that, and definitely some 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 different projects that are have benefited from the newer technology and, and the way it's printed and everything. Um, but there are certain things that are just you know that quite whole, a bit better. Yeah, that whole um, personal touch feeling that you get from looking at the older um, comic covers and comic books. Maybe it was the paper, maybe it was just the artist. Let me let me expand on that since I'm new at this. Um, when you pick up an older comic, like when we were kids and you pick up a comic and it's on the newsprint and you open it up, even for the first time, and you smell it. Oh, yeah. That new smell. smell. Yeah. That, that, that to me was comic books. And when I get an old book, not that I don't like the new books. There's a lot of new books. Oh, yeah. Them, sure. But you open them up and, you're, and you get that smell. And it just, smell is actually the one sense, sensory that sticks that with you. Sticks yeah. with you more than anything else. And when you open that, it just. It was, you. And it was always different from like a newspaper. When you read the newspaper, oh, yeah. it just smelled like it was newspaper. Way yeah. But the the comic ink, maybe it was the color or whatever. I'm not sure, but you definitely knew it was a comic book and not something else. Correct. I think the passion might have shown through a little bit more because they had to have more passion back then because they were drawing it by hand so if something was wrong the editor sent it back they had to just do it all over i think a lot of it today i think a lot of it today is done more on the computer so i'm not saying that they're not passionate i believe that every artist has passion and i believe that the artists today do a very good job for the way they're doing their art uh, I just I just feel it might have been a little more passion to have to be done because it had to be more correct because they couldn't just touch a button and fix a line. They had to literally go back and erase it. And if they erased it too much, they had to redraw the whole thing. Hi, I'm Officer Ditko. We'll get back to the show in one moment. But first, I'm here to ask you to subscribe to the Comics Panel YouTube channel. It's not that difficult, and you'll be sure not to miss one episode. I'll wait. Go ahead and click the button. What are you waiting for? I don't have all day. Click the button, maggot. <clears throat> Thank you. And now, back to the show. I think that uh, probably just a lot more personal touch went into it other than just being able to recognize someone's art. Um, you could see, like you said, mistakes and sometimes Absolutely. and things like that. I, I, I dabbled in art when I was in high school. Um, and there's a lot of things that when I look at old stuff as opposed to new stuff, and you look at, and you can see some of the newer artists that do it um, to do shading. They actually do hatching hatch marks. Cross -hatching, they do cross hatching yeah. and so forth. And, I mean, as opposed to, say, Kirby, Kirby would just, and the guy would ink it, and it would just be like a <laughs> black spot. Uh, but it worked. It worked. Because Kirby, I mean, Kirby was one of the first guys that got me into the oh, art yeah, in absolutely. comics. It was, I mean. That, that big, bold. Yeah, and the, and, the, and the crazy universe things he'd do. I mean, he's just great. But 
then you get like Daniil Adams and yeah. and Jim Aparo, who's still my favorite Batman artist. Um, and you look at the things they do and they've done, and and you know you've got Ditko with Spider Man, and and it was just amazing the things they did that they that they wanted to they were selling themselves in the stories when they drew. Them. I think they were putting a lot of themselves into the yeah. story. Yeah, I and I think not too many hands touched them back then. I mean, you had the the artist and. Maybe the inker, and sometimes the artist, the penciler was the inker, right. and the colorist, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and the letterer, you know, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. But, I mean, words. as far as the visuals go, um, it was really only just a handful of people that were involved in it. And, and they all you know, had to have had that to be, passion. And it had, yeah, and it had to be done right. Right. Uh, it, one you know, step. One step was wrong. All these guys the were doing thing. multiple titles, monthly titles, uh, you know. There wasn't anything to see the same name on a six or seven of the yeah. books that you're buying every month and it's the same you know that was cool person that going back and forth you know think how much how i think how how good they had to be how fast they had to do their art in order to keep up with the demand of of all the comic issues that they were doing and, at the time and it was still really good art. And it was all oh, really yeah. good art yes yeah. yes and i and i know this guy's a, i know just <laughs> over and over this guy's a, this guy is a cover man he loves his covers. Love the covers. Okay. Love the covers. And I am also, not that I don't love to read the stories. You know I yeah. love to read the stories, but I love covers. Uh, the older covers sold them. They sold them like crazy. Oh, yeah. as, as of late and different things, I've seen older covers. I've been seeing older covers. And in the older covers, it was things like, uh, you know, you'd have, say, Iron Man flying against the foe and he'd be saying something and the foe would be saying we right. don't do that anymore no. it's all yeah. artsy fartsy and we want to be you know it, it, it was almost yeah the, the cover was almost like a, just a single panel to, to sell it had that to sell book it to you to yep. sell that book to that you correct. And, and to me that was that, I mean how much passion did you pour into that to, to sell that book to a 12 year old kid yeah. It's, oh, it's, absolutely! It's, it's yeah. just great. This is what's happening. It's got yeah, yeah. mine. And you're like, exactly. oh, I gotta have that book. I gotta yeah, see yeah. what you know. I gotta see yeah. what happened. And, and you know what the big letdown was? That panel was never. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, it, well, not the exact you, panel. The first thing I do is yeah. go, Man, sometimes sort of like it. The but, scene kind of happens, but okay, it's, you know. it's okay. The book is sort of the front. <laughs> yeah. but the front is really cool. really cool. I gotta have that. <laughs> anyway. yeah. Now, now, ironically, what we were talking about also was the fact that if you talk to the younger generation. They will disagree with us. Yeah, they think they it's kind of hokey. They think the older covers. Do they know? I, I mean, I you know <laughs> don't want to <laughs> say that, but but they they do feel that uh, that the, that the I guess they like the way that it's printed sometimes on the computer screen and how I guess the computer because they're I'm, I'm born not, with that type of stuff nowadays. Okay, Everything's all printed. You're, you're and, right. You're right. H- having worked in schools, I see that that everything is computerized. Everything. Okay? Yes. But. And and I'm not going to detract that because some of the some of the art in the newer books is just amazing. Oh yeah, oh absolutely. It's, it's just the, what they do with the computers is amazing absolutely. to look at. Yes. Um, but it still doesn't it still doesn't make me not go. This this 1970s Batman is yeah. just just not just blows away. Well, spe- uh, we won't get into the whole how I feel about yeah. Batman in the 80s becoming a complete moron yeah. <laughs> but but uh, you know the, the the blue and gray batman was just oh uh, yeah yeah still the best yeah still we're, the best we're just we're just so used to the the old school way of doing things that uh i just we Are look for that, that pop i, 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 that yeah, I, I think that old. <laughs> I, I think it might be a little bit um also when we look at superhero comic books we're expecting to see more of the four color stuff when we look at more modern day comic books aren't always there's more things other than the superhero genre out there so if you read something other than the superhero genre um it's going to be a little bit easier to let me throw a read book something out. out have you have you read moonshine yeah yeah i like moonshine i, oh, think, absolutely. It's, I think it's a really cool book it's it's got a feel to it that's that's sort of the 20s and it's and, it, and it's obviously all computer sure. colored and whatever but there's a lot of darkness in it because it, i mean it deals with werewolves yeah so there's a lot of darkness in it um a lot of contrast yeah a lot of contrast well, that's it's the not kind of the four, four color, color. It, it, it is it's, but because it, but it's it's not the actual four colors but there's a whole lot of it's that same look yeah it's the same yeah. look oh yeah you can pick um, it out yeah uh i want to speak to others but i can't think of anything right off the top of my head um uh but there's there's 
different things that they do now that makes it look spectacular. Actually, certain things for the the Archie series, the new Archie stuff, kind of looks like that. You, you, um, you lost me. Afterlife of Archie was kind of like that. Uh, the new Will Eisner Spirit is kind of like that. Um, I've seen the that, covers. That kind of that contrast, heavy contrast type of thing. Um, instead of using five million shades right. of blue, um, I've it's seen the one. Covers. I, <laughs> you I, know? I, I haven't read them. I've seen the covers, and I know what you're talking it, about. It, it has that kind of yeah. uh, old-timey uh, feel. Yeah. Well, there there could be another thing too. Is I know I noticed that from owning the store that they today they're trying to make. Um, the characters in a different way so they're kind of always trying to change them where we used to go back to our the old the older comics on the front covers batman always pretty much looked like batman he didn't kind of one one month he doesn't look like you know like he's half dead next month he doesn't look like he's pumped the next month he so they're kind of like always changing the covers maybe we're just creatures of habit where we like to have the uh the normalness of the old cover plus the um the brilliance of the color that they used to bring into it because I, I do feel too that the colors are kind of I don't want to say dumbed down but they're a little more dollar when you use them on the computer opposed to when back in the day when they used to use the actual yeah. watercolors and paints and stuff like that I was recently in, in contact with with covers from maybe the mid early to mid 70s of Iron Man and, and Hulk and um, and yeah, the colors were brilliant. Yes. The covers were amazing. And um, you look at things now, and and yeah, some of the covers, some covers are really neat. And um, I I have some <clears throat> some comics that I display in in um, uh, frame yeah. packets that I might or might not have bought from you. And um, I like to pick really cool covers yeah. and some are newer and some are older and uh, you know it, it it depends you, you, know, you put on you put an old cover next to a new cover you can definitely tell which oh, yeah which one and again it could be the paper because the paper i'm sure is different today than what they used back then it could be the the it could be the whole color combination you know back then they used the watercolors or the the, the paint to put on the paper it soaked it in more it made it more bright i'm gonna go back with the covers i'm gonna go back to the passion it's all about the passion. Yeah. And I, I agree I think, with that. I think they, I think, I think the artists back then, and not not that the artists now don't have a passion. There are artists now that I think are spectacular. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Um, uh, but, and and it could have to do, you know. Uh, uh, let me throw out a movie that's not even really a comic book. Uh, Wild Wild West. If you remember that movie with yeah. Will Smith, love the love the television show. Yeah. <laughs> the movie with the producers and everybody that was involved in it was just. It was fun to watch because Will Smith makes things fun, but I, I watched that going. It this missed, is yeah. Not, this, it missed this, the whole thing. They made yeah. it hokey. You know, you, yeah. you were shooting for Cleveland and you hit L.A. But, <laughs> yeah. But you know, it's the same with now. How many, how many hands are in that mix that right. are going? Now you know this just has this is the old hokey feel. We need this. Yeah, one. it you needs know, to be new kind of, for yeah. Then, trying to modernize got, everything. But yeah. then you got Marvel who puts out seventeen hundred covers, <laughs> so you can pick the one that you want. <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean they're showcasing different artists. So. <laughs> yeah, true. It, true it but, gives that you know. that feel too. You got that going for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got that going for me. I'm, I'm glad you guys explained that because I had nothing for that. <laughs> I just uh, I think that I I do think they do okay with the different covers. It does showcase the different artists that we have today. Yeah. Um, will any of them shine and become, you know, the, the future Kirby's? I mean, you always have to wait and see. But the passion that Kirby and all those other guys had back in the day was you just, almost had to have it because you weren't getting feeling. paid, right? Yeah, you know, right. and you, you know, didn't, just, you know, no, we just heard another Mario chime, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably because you weren't getting paid, right? And uh, you know, in in the commercial art field, comics was the bottom of the barrel. So, right, right. and today it's kind of the opposite. You know, if, uh, not for everyone, but there's certain uh, people that um, really they're, you know, they get a lot of credit and they should and they deserve the Absolutely. credit. But yeah. um, it wasn't so many years ago. Right, so. right. I agree. We could talk about this for hours. We could we probably we could, could, but I'm sure we don't have that time no, to do no. that. So we should probably wrap it up. What do you think? Okay. Sounds pretty good. Sounds good. Nice conversation. All right. So that's it for this episode of the Comics Panel. And uh, if, <laughs> if you uh, put some comments below, please. <laughs> you get tired of uh, the same old story, 
feel free to turn some comic book pages. And like us on Facebook. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much.